Hey guys, JG here again, and this time I thought I'd do something a little different. Ever since my response video to Hammerhand, the MGTOW monk, I've been called everything from a feminist cuck to a white knight for saying that I don't think Daisy Cousins is an enemy to MGTOW. However, rather than make me give up on the movement, this actually made me more determined to find out if the trolls were the only ones out there. Well, wouldn't you know it, they're not. While searching for content, I came across this video by a channel called Alpha Male Secrets, a series of videos for men who have adopted red pill thinking, in other words, not believing that men have no place in the world. After watching several of his videos, I can honestly say, thank God cooler heads prevailed. So in honor of this fi the glorious find, I am instituting a new sister series to my original. Ladies and gentlemen, Alpha Males and True MGTOW Brothers, Welcome to True Male Heroes! Okay, for the first episode, I thought I'd start out with one of the shorter videos called Are You Red Pill? Take this test. All you foul mouth dims, pay attention. This is how a real man makes a mark. Are you a red pill man? I'm gonna give you guys a very simple test, which really just consists of a few simple questions to really find out if you are red pill or not. And many of you will ace these tests with flying colors, but if you ever want to test another man, you can do so simply by asking him these simple questions. Okay, trolls, did you see how he began there? Straight, to the point, not grappling, just focusing on what he's talking about. That's called being strong in your convictions. So the first question I like to ask guys is, do you think women should have the right to vote? Do you think women should ever have been given the right to vote? And depending on his answers, you will be able to tell if he's red pill or not. If he gives you the politically correct answer and says, yes, of course they are. They're people just like you and me. Equality for all. Dude's blue pill. He's blue pill, right? Because a red pill man would never say something like that. He would never, a red pill man's ethics are not based on his feelings, but on facts, okay? On statistics. And if you look at statistically what has happened to the economy, to the welfare state, to the size of government, since women were given the right to vote, any moron could see that it has been an absolute disaster. Now, see, this might be the one thing I disagree with him on a bit. I do believe that the right to vote is a universal human one, but I can see his point that many women haven't used their right to vote very well. Not sure what that makes me, but I did ask him in the comments. Okay, not only has the government been able to extort more taxes from society, which was really their primary goal, but look at what's happened to the welfare state. Look at how the size of government has just grown past what anybody ever thought was possible. Yeah, and unfortunately those women voting for those policies were helped by way too many blue pill men. Sad but true. Okay, the next question. The next question you want to ask is, do you think we need feminism today? Absolutely not, and most women are in agreement with men on this. Feminists are anachronisms. The only way I could see feminism working is if it morphed into a philosophy of self-reflection and improvement, but with people like Clementine Ford at the helm, that's not very likely. Because obviously the blue pill man would say, of course we need feminism, are you crazy? What about women's rights? What about equal pay for women? What kind of man are you? You know, they'll say shit like that automatically again this guy is using not a statistical approach to his logic but a feelings based approach an emotional based approach and generally a blue pill guys like that who speak like that who cheerlead for the gynocracy the reason why these guys identify with their feminine so much more than their masculine side is because in their feelings and emotions more than actual facts and statistics the reason why they do that is because Overwhelmingly, like over 99% of these guys were raised in a fatherless home by a single mother. Another very good point. 
and once again made without acting like a fool. We have a great lack of men who had strong father figures, and that's definitely something men need to keep in mind, especially MGTOW trolls who make everyone who disagrees with them the enemy, just like the women they claim to be better than. That's it. This guy has my subscription. So whenever you ask a guy, do you think we need feminism today, most blue pill men will say absolutely, 100%, but any red pill man, any self-respecting red pill man will say absolutely not. This third wave feminism is completely unnecessary. Western women are the most entitled, coddled, narcissistic creatures on the planet. We absolutely do not need feminism anymore. Maybe first wave feminism, maybe, but it's totally out of control. We don't need it anymore. You see that, trolls? A red pill man admitting that agreeing with first wave feminism might not be a bad thing, just like Daisy Cousins. Guess by your definition, he's now a feminist and a traitor, huh? Okay, another question you want to ask is, and this is an easy one, you want to ask, do you vote left or right? All right? Do you vote Democrat or Republican? Republican, when I care to vote at all. I don't know a single Democrat, a single person on the left that is red pill. Because just by going red pill, you will quickly realize that anyone on the left, anyone who identifies as a Democrat, is pushing for all of those leftist ideologies, okay? All of those blue pill values and beliefs. Once again, very true. The leftists think they mean well, their ideas don't take into account the results of what they propose, which is never a good idea. Even though guys on the left love to try and redefine what the red pill is, just like how they try to redefine what masculinity is, they're like, no, masculinity is telling a woman how pretty she is. Yeah, that would be like saying feminism is about telling a man he's handsome. Women would hit the roof. So the left is constantly trying to uh, redefine whatever's masculine or whatever's red pill to suit their own or feed into their own blue pill values and beliefs and ideologies. Sadly, trying to redefine terms to suit your own ends is something I've seen among my so-called MGTOW brothers way too much as well. Too many of them want to redefine masculinity as anything that opposes feminine ideals, and that's just not the case. Not liking women doesn't automatically make you masculine. Masculine is what you do and say yourself. I'd listen to this guy about how to be masculine any day because he obviously has his shit together, both physically and mentally. You can't send him into a rage just by saying, I don't agree. Next question you want to ask is, do you think Trump is Hitler? Absolutely not. He hasn't killed anyone, he isn't a fascist, and he doesn't paint terrible pictures. And this is another easy question. If the person goes, yeah, absolutely, are you kidding? Trump's Hitler. He's literally Hitler. Yeah, I love the fact that the left uses the term literally as if they have any idea what it means. The only way Donald Trump could literally be a Hitler is if someone reanimated Hitler's corpse, gave it facial reconstruction surgery, and put it in charge of a multi-billion dollar company, complete with trophy wife and fake daughter, since, you know, zombies can't breed. If you think that's a likely scenario, check yourself into a mental hospital immediately. Or stop taking drugs. Okay, well that's pretty much the last of the video. I did have to cut some of it for time. If you want to watch it all, I'll include a link below as well as one for his channel. Seriously guys, if you want an idea of what a real MGTOW man should be like, this is what you should be imitating. Not brainless idiots like Hammerhand who just teach you to be angry and too stupid to make valid arguments. Till next time, to all my true MGTOW brothers and red pill heroes, keep up the fight and live to be awesome. If you like, or dislike this video, please comment below and subscribe to my channel. I approve all comments, even the trolls, because as Bernie Mac would say, I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.